Bun Double School Things here. I'm Jenna. And I'm Matt. And we got Freezer from set 24. Yep. So this is the one you're kind of interested in, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually an original deck set, this set which has just been a support set for all decks. And the way it works is kind of funny. So. So you got Activate Main, Loves Platoon. You can add one card from your life to your hand. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add that to one green or yellow freezer card to your hand and then shuffle your deck. Awakens four or less, draw one game as you back. Absolutely fantastic. Do not underestimate this. It has a way to control its own life without attacking. And searching. And it searches. Like, it doesn't seem like it does a lot just there, but honestly, trust me, that is a lot. That is <laughs> enough. That is enough on the lead card. Yeah. And then flip it over for the Awakened side. It's got permanent. When choosing battle cards for the skill cost of successor on a freezer card in your hand, once per turn you may choose any number of your opponent's battle cards as mono green battle cards. So, and then also when this card attacks, you draw a card. It's got activate battle once per turn, spirit boost one. Use up to one of your green, yellow, multicolor cards with a combo cost of one from your hand in a combo with skills and gates for a turn. Right, so. Spirit boost is when you remove a mark from a unit. So this is just for those who don't remember or don't know what spirit boost is. You've just not come across it before. So, um, what's basically the benefit of that is, yes, you lose a marker on your unison, but you get to combo for free. Yeah. Because multicolored cards usually have a combo cost. Usually. Most of the time. So... It's a way of paying the combo cost without you using the energy. Yeah. And then I'm just going to let Jonah explain Successor for those who may not remember slash know. Okay. Um, so Successor is basically you pick cards of the energy type. So, so say you're playing a 9 cost with the Successor skill. You have to send energy cost of 9. But the cards you send have to be of the same colours. So it's always been... Um, green yellow that has successor so you'd have to send green cards and all yellow cards to play the cost essentially if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh it's synchro summon it's just color based yeah but that is really nice that it just targets your opponent stuff it'd be overpowered if it could ignore barrier yeah that would be too good I mean yeah no because you're choosing cards so, yeah and barrier is okay I don't know. I don't know. I think right. when they put up the rulings for this set, they might explain that interaction because there might be some weird wording mechanic that's like, oh no, technically you can send the barrier thing. So I don't think so. I wouldn't think so. Because it says choose. So yeah, I wouldn't think so either. Because then that would just be like, oh, my opponent's board doesn't matter. I just send whatever I want. Yeah, which would be nuts. Okay, that escalated quickly. <laughs> it's Jared. Wait, no, sorry. I saw 10 cost. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is me, isn't it? What? I was talking about the freezer. I forgot. Okay, so we have the first SR, which is freezer of driver activation. It's 10 cost of 30k. It's got exhaust, the flight, du double strike, and dual attack. And successor. Yeah, I was literally about to say that. It's got successor by paying a green and a yellow or another energy, and you just draw two when you activate it. That's Permanent, crazy. Yeah. Permanent, if you have a green, yellow, multicolor card other than this card, your energy negate this card's energy exhaust in normal areas. So you can just charge it for free as long as you've charged something else. And when this card is played, your parent can't attack it until the end of their turn unless you switch one of their active mode cards to rest mode each time. That is really good. Z-Linger? Yeah! <laughs> okay, so it costs two Z energy and one green, and it goes on to a green freezer. Doesn't matter what point your life is, but your lives are going to be four or less because that's how the freezer works. Yeah. Permanent when choosing battle cards or skill, the cost of successor on a freezer card in your hand. Once per turn, you may choose any number of your opponent's battle cards as mono green battle cards. So it carries over the exact same skill. It doesn't change it to 
being mono green or mono yellow, it still restricts it to mono green. Yeah. So do bear that in mind. Not that it really makes much of a difference. No. But <laughs> anyway. Uh, also, at the end of a battle in which this card was attacked, you may place two of your Z energy into drop. If you don't, remove this card from the game. Bear in mind, it has dirty gate power. Hmm. <coughs> but that's quite interesting because it means your opponent can swing at it unless you negate and they don't have to combo up you're still losing this leader well yeah you still every time it's attacked you're having to throw the 2 ZNG yeah so your opponent could just throw anything at it like even if it's like oh look this is a 1k I swing at your leader because then you're forced to throw the 2 ZNG yep. or remove it and then you got activate main, once per turn, spirit boost one, draw one card, then choose one of your green freezer battle cards and switch to active mode. So, you would have to use more than one of his seed leader in the deck. Yeah. Just because of that auto. Yeah. But if you didn't have that auto, it would be dumb because it got dirty gate power. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's like 100%. Well, whenever freezer goes like that, it's never full on. Because he knows it's a dumb idea. Yeah. And we've got a 7 cost freezer. So, got 25k power, exhaust, deflect, successor, for my interrupts, um, <laughs> for one yellow. If you have the green freezer leader and you draw one card. So, no downsides there. It just replaces itself. Yeah. And then, when your opponent plays a battle card, you may choose it and switch to best mode. If you do, negate the skill for the turn. So, it's. Crushable on legs. Yeah. It's just a one time free crushable. Yeah. But every turn. Yeah. Alright, so we got a free cost freezer, it's got 10k power. Auto, when this card is played, add up to one card from your life to your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and switch it to rest mode. Activate main, limit one, pain a yellow, if you lead a card is a green freezer card and you have one or more green energy and one or more yellow energy draw one card and play this card from your hand it can do that is there a green yellow card that ignores the energy all straight away that you could use in this deck I don't think so because most of the time when it ignores exhaust straight away it's very specific leaders or it's the leader's skill that does that so, at minimum, it's turn two then? Yeah, it's your turn two, probably. Yeah, okay, so yeah, turn two then. Activate main, once per turn, declare one number that's three or less, increase this card's energy cost by a declared number for a turn. It, that's really good. It's just to help the whole successor synchro summon thing. Yeah. And we got a Zara Bomb. It's a one cost 4k. Auto, when this card's played, look at five cards from the top of your deck, add one green or yellow freezer to your hand and shuffle your deck. An active main that one if lead is green freezer and you discard this card. That has no restriction on cost. No. Nope. Um, choose up to one of your opponent's non token battle cards and increase its energy by one per turn. Just to make it easier to do your synchro. Yeah. And we got free cost Krillin, 15k, activate main, limit one, if you lead a card is green freezer card and you have a green Z unison in play and your opponent has no battle cards in play, draw one card and play this card from your hand in your opponent's battle area in rest mode. It does a combo. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the Z unison of cooler brotherly assistance. Oh, this one's a rare. Yeah. Goku's one was an SR. And this one has a plus two. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this freezer deck has like one SR because the rest went to Goku. <laughs> um, so yeah, specify cost one, one ZNG. It's got 5k, which is not a lot. Um, auto once turn. When you play a yellow freezer card, this gains 10k power for the turn. It's got plus two active main. If you leave this green freezer and you declare a number that's uh, three or less. Choose one of your opponent's non-token battle cards and increase its energy cost by the declared number for the turn. And it's got minus three active main. Your opponent discards one card from their hand. So another way to help. I really don't feel like you're going to do the minus three unless you need to. No, you'll only do the minus three if um, it's, it's going to help it. help close out the game. Yeah. Or if your opponent only has like somehow only two cards in hand, it's like okay, I'm putting you down to one card. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, so we got a 6 cost freezer, 20k power. It's got energy exhaust to flight double strike successor by paying a yellow. And it's got auto limit 1, if you have 3 or more energy, when this card is played, you draw a card and it gets 10k for a turn. That's pretty decent. Oh, it becomes a 30k double strike for 1 energy. Yeah. Eel. Yeah. I've got Z actually, you must die by my hand. Well, because of how casually I said it. It's also the artwork. Yeah. It's just free of panicking, like, damn it. <laughs> so, so one cost with one CNG. His auto is, if your leader is a green freezer and your life is at one, and you remove this card from the game, when one of your green freezer cards attacks, choose the attacking card and gets 30k for the battle. Additionally, if no damage is done to your opponent by that attack, place all of your life in your drop at the end of battle. Oh. Okay. It's a, yeah, literally a deal or die. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's deal or die. I feel like that's a one-off. It's a one-off. You only go for it if your opponent's on. Is it one? Is that did the ten cost have triple strike? Yeah. So no, it has double strike. Is it double strike? Was it? it? Has double strike, but dual attack. Goku has triple strike. Ah, uh, right, okay. Well, it's basically like, if your opponent's on a low enough life and they don't negate... Well, is it negate, for the battle, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Well, yeah, if they're low enough life and they don't negate, you're just like, right, this is do or die. Yeah. And uh, now we've got some random support cards. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you got Broly, Agent of Destruction, free cast, 20k. I'm not sure how this is actually going to be... Well, I mean, I don't know, you could play this in the Agent of Destruction because you can reduce the costs hmm. and then play it for free, so yeah, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Uh, auto, when this card is played, it gets 10k for a turn. Auto, <laughs> limit 1, when this card attacks an opponent's battle card, draw one card, which is card to active mode. Damn. Activate main, limit 1, pay 1. If your leader is Brody card, you've got 3 more inches, you play this card from your hand. Um, That's good than a lot of Brody decks. Yeah. That's just... It should... It, in fact, it's got no energy restriction mm. for the cost. So you can throw that in any Broly deck that you want to. It has to be original Broly. If you need a guy's Broly card. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Okay, so any any Broly that's not a BR. In case you do any more. Yeah. Um, its cost gets reduced because it's Agent Instruction, so we can go in the Agent Instruction deck. So, this is a really nice card for both. Yeah. Like, I can see this being used in Agent of Destruction just because of, you know, having dual attack, effectively. Well, yeah. And, it's and it's draw power, which Agent of Destruction deck doesn't really have much no. in terms of. And you just immediately swing into something for 30k. Yes. So. Oh, I know, back, back to the freezer back stuff. To freezer. <laughs> For some reason, it was just random Broly. <laughs> After that brief intermission. So we've got freezer, a press of authority, it's free cost 10k, auto wins cards played, add one card from the left of your hand, then choose which one of your opponent's first mode battle cards and it counts switch to active mode during your opponent's next charge phase. And it's got active main that one, pay one yellow, if you leave green freezer and you have one more green and one more yellow energy, draw a card, play this card from your hand. And then activate main once per turn. Declare one number that's free or less. Increase this card's energy by the declared number. So both are just really solid. Yeah. Vanilla Ginyu. That's well, 30k. The, honestly, you wouldn't even use this in the deck. You might run it in the green Ginyu deck. <laughs> if you can play it out. Yeah, but this wouldn't be used in this deck. Because no. like, there's literally no point. Cause... There is better cards. Yeah. Oh, we're back to Broly. <laughs> we're back to Broly, apparently. <laughs> back to Broly. <laughs> so we have another eight cost Broly. It's um, it's not Agent Destruction this time, though. Why well, you say eight cost? Another eight cost. The other one was three oh, cost. It was three cost. I don't know why I thought it was eight cost. Uh -huh. Um, so yeah, we've got thirty-five k power permanent. If your opponent's free more energy, this gains triple strike. Alright, that's fine. That's cool. That's fine. Um, auto once per turn. When the opponent's battle card is carried by this card's attack, switch this card to active mode. And then active main let one, pay one green. If the leader is green or red Brody, and you place one of your green red multi-card Brody cards 
and one green card, both from your battle here in your drop. Draw one card, play this card from your hand. So, support for the um, Surge Broly. Yes, any... Well, if you're running the green, red Broly in any form, it's... Oh, yeah, there, were, there was two of them, wasn't there? Because there was the Dormant one as well. Oh, yeah, there's the Dormant one, there's... The Surge one. Yeah, because people were able to run it in with the red leader or green leaders because of the latest support it got where it was playable in both decks. Yeah. Because it counters as things like Broly's Ring and all that. Back to the freezers. <laughs> right, back to freezer. <laughs> <laughs> so you got an 8 cost freezer, 25k power, exhaust, deflect, critical, dual attack, successor, green, yellow. Dual attack, crit, eel. Yeah. Um, and then doesn't draw during that bit. No, okay. So auto limit one, when this card is played, draw one card. Doesn't draw when you do the successor, it's just when it's played. Yep. Uh, choose up to one of your opponent's unisons and remove two markers from it. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards or unisons and negate your skills for a turn. It does have a secondary thing just in case they don't have a unison before you start saying anything. <laughs> I was laughing the fact that it removes two markers from unison. It's like, hey, they are pushing the unisons now and Freezer just comes along and steals two. Oh yeah, they are pushing the unisons. Oh, this is just vile then. Yeah. Because yeah, the unison is a new thing for a set. Oh. Yeah. Oh, why did why? Oh, oh, we don't know how they work fully, so it's gonna essentially just make you do realize this one card shuts down the Goku deck then for his unison. Pretty much, yeah. Because it can't gain extra markers by any skill other than your opponent doing something in a certain way. It is made to counter that though, because you can success your opponent's blockers and then they get their stuff. Which is, I suppose, is the idea, but also Freezer just feels like it has an advantage still. Yeah, but because this is played during turn player, hmm. you'll do your successor, do this effect, and then their auto goes off, and then their skills go off, but it won't be any battle cards. Yeah. Hmm. So, because I completely forgot the unit was the main thing for this. This card is disgusting. This card really counters the Goku deck. One card shuts down the entire deck. Yeah. It makes it a lot more difficult to play against. Alright, show us Broly. <laughs> oh no, okay. It's the Dorian. <laughs> it's the Dorian. Alright, so you've got one cost to Dorian when it's played, you draw a card, and it's got Axe Marine Lip 1, it releases Group Freezer, you can discard this card, choose one of your opponent's non token battle cards, and increase its energy by two for the turn. Uh, if if your opponent's skills could trigger during your turn thing, then yes, it would get round it. But yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't mind the artwork. No, I know it's really random, but it doesn't actually look bad. It does look pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> Nicely, King Cold. I mean, Freezer. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, five cost. I was about to say cold then. Um, <laughs> five cost of nineteen K Freezer. <laughs> Energy source to flex, excessive for a green. It's got dual attack, but that's only limit one. So that if you have multiple out. Yeah. Because uh, it's really cheap to bring out. Yeah. Auto, once per turn, when this card attacks, use it to one if you're green or yellow. Freezer, army cards, 5k combo from your draw. In a combo, with skills to get every turn. Okay. This is so good in the deck. And it works really well with Zarbon and Doria. Because you throw them play it out by increasing your opponent's card, swing a bit, and then you just immediately combo the one you throw. Yeah. So you don't lose that. Uh, this this is really good. Yeah. And I, I'll, I'll, I'm going to say it's every single time. Any single card that can get you a free combo piece is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, because it's just free ZNG. Yeah. And there's Bardock. And there's a random Bardock. Don't sleep on honestly. Um... People have probably already realised this, but do not sleep on this freezer deck. No. This is actually going to be insane. Yeah. So. Like, I'm already sold on it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else from set has interested me so far, but it's like, freezer's got enough shenanigans and playstyles that I enjoyed that I'm just like, yes. <laughs> Alright uh, guys, uh, so thank you very much for watching. Leave any fortune in the comments below, and we will see you next time. So, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.